such a broad subject right now because you know, 3D printing is disrupting a lot of industries. And I'm trying to help them see ways to constructively disrupt industries as opposed to being disrupted. Get inside, take control, bring these skills to some business that you might be working for and say, Do you, have you ever thought about maybe we can manufacture these using this technology? We could design these using this technology. And we already have students doing that. The emphasis of the program, it's called for art and industry, so we're really covering the full spectrum. And at the moment, what I tend to do is well, the students who come forward, if they have more of an engineering interest, I tend to go in that direction with them. They'll custom design machines. Uh, if they're more artistically focused, we'll do things like theatrical sets. Medea is actually the first primarily 3D printed set in America. It happened here at Troy. It's really wonderful. Um, the students who worked on it weren't actually part of the theatrical production, but they wanted to contribute to it from another department. So they got involved, designed the elements, these columns primarily. They contributed from that, that aspect, from like computer science majors who are doing this. And then on the other side, the artistic students in the theater department were like, wow, when they saw it, and they saw the potential for this, they were like, wow, how do I learn this as well? You know, we also have students who are literally making uh, machines that can print concrete and from scratch, they're designing them themselves and building them. So it's quite a spectrum. This machine behind us here is a large format printer. You can see how large it is. It can print pretty much me sitting here, and it can also print recycled plastics. So we have things like recycled pellet from KW Plastics there in our town, in our city here, and we're using those plastics for the first um, institution in the world, again, to have printed uh, recycled polypropylene pellet. Now that sounds a bit of a mouthful, but basically that's 40% of our landfills is polypropylene. KW Plastics recycles them into pellets, and we found a way to print them on this machine right behind us. We have a range of machines that have different printing technologies, and it's quite an array. Uh, the more I learn about what we're offering in our lab presently, um, we're sort of leading the way in our region. Uh, I see uh, an incredible uh, potential. It's, it's disrupting almost every industry that you can think of in manufacturing and design. So as I watch the trade industry newsletters and where everything is going, I just see endless horizons opening up. And the students who come to this program are actually helping to form and shape it right now. So uh, we've had a lot of computer science students, we've had a lot of graphic design students, and a lot of art students. So as I listen to them and hear what they need and what they think the future might be, I try to blend that into what we're offering. So it's early days, we're only in the second year of the program, but we're quite inspired about where it's heading. Mm -hmm.